Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Benjamin O, and we're continuing our coastal main tour here today in the beautiful town of Booth Bay Harbor. This is probably the third most visited area place in Maine after Portland and, of course, Acadia National Park and Bar Harbor. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's almost kind of got a mixture of the elegance of Bar Harbor and the rustic feel of the wharfs of Portland, uh, or even like uh, kind of part of it reminds me of um, like a mini version of Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. But it is a gorgeous place. But we are here for something special. We are going on a boat tour out to Ca a place called Cabbage Island, just off the bay around the other side, and we are here for their lobster and clam bake. So let's go ahead and get some lobster. Okay, so while we're waiting for the boat, let me just kind of go over real quick. Booth Bay Harbor is a town that was incorporated in the late 19th century. It's been part of Booth Bay, which is a separate now a separate town, since I think like the late 1700s. But in uh, I think 1889, somewhere around the late 1880s, it be incorporated and became its own harbor town. Now I believe it is one of the more larger towns because it's got about a population of about a little over 2,000 year round and it is almost the size of Bar Harbor when you stretch it out along both sides and that that is the very unique part about this place is because it stretches along two different sides of the inlets here and the bank and so you have the harbor kind of almost cuts the town in half and it's really kind of unique too is they have this walking bridge that goes right across the harbor which not only you can connect easily to go from one side to the other, but it is gives you gorgeous kind of 360 views of this upper part of the harbor and the bay. It's just absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you guys while we're waiting for the boat. Okay, so I just got my ticket for the uh, Cabbage Island Clam Bake. And so the way that you do that is, generally I would recommend booking it online. Um, I actually was put on a wait list because I tried to book it about two weeks ago, uh, two weeks in advance, and they were all sold out at the time. They do have a wait list that you can get onto, and luckily there's about a six, a party of six that dropped out and I got one of those spots. But anyway, when you're here in Booth Bay Harbor, head over to the uh, Fisherman Wharfs Inn, and it's right underneath uh, the uh, arch area, and uh, it'll say Benny Alice uh, Information Center for the uh, Cabbage Island Clam Bakes. Um, I think right now it was about 83.50, for uh, the full lobster dinner ticket. Uh, prices, of course, of lobster have gone up. I know when Mark Weens did his video here, uh, I think last year it was like 69 or 70 bucks. So you can definitely see the price of inflation going up. But anyway, you just get your ticket here. Uh, they only pay, uh, you can only pay in cash or with check. They don't accept credit or debit cards. And so make sure that you get cash. They do have an ATM right next door. Uh, but it is, a, you know, it's a, it's a simple transaction. You get in line, you get your ticket uh, at, for the 12.30 departure. They start boarding at 12. They usually recommend recommend you be here about 11.30 to get in line for the ticket, and then, you know, you take off. So that's basically the way it works, and now let's go ahead and go get on the boat and get some lobster. All right, so we are off. I got myself my drink. We are ready to go. So about the uh, boats, uh, the Benny Alice boat, it takes about about 55 minutes, a little under an hour to get from uh, Booth Bay Harbor onto Cabbage Island. So, but they do have a bar here, uh, which is fantastic. Got a couple of like chip snacks, uh, grab and go snacks, and then of course you can, you know, full bar. You can have vodka. I got myself a Tito's ginger ale, uh, wine, beer, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, just enjoy the views from the boat, guys, and we'll be at Cabbage Island soon.
Okay, so we have arrived on Cabbage Island here for the lobster and clam bake. I am super excited about this. This is a beautiful five acre island, uh, known for actually having grown cabbages at one point in time here. I don't think they grow cabbages anymore, but they do still have their own self-sustaining garden uh, and whatnot. It's probably some of the biggest tomatoes I've ever seen uh, over there. It is absolutely amazing. And it's a cool spot too. Like they have the, uh, the, the inside area, which has a bar. Uh, they have a private uh, outside area and then they have the main picnic areas which are uh, right down by the uh, the grill but it's just it's such a cool spot they've got games to play like cornhole and badminton for you know just to pass the time uh, but it's almost time for them to start opening up and flipping uh, the vegetables the potatoes and then the lobster so let's uh let's go get set up for it Just look at the steam coming out of there. Oh my God, all that smoke is, oh. You can feel the heat from here and I'm like 10, 15 feet away. It's amazing. Oh my God, that was so cool. They basically, what they were doing was, um, when they lift that up, it's got all the seaweed and it just kind of like contraps a lot of the steam in there. It is absolutely, it smells so good. That lobster looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait, but we just heard the bell. So I gotta go sit down and it's chowder time first. Okay, so the chowder has arrived and it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, just the size of fish. This, this is, these are huge little pieces of fish and potatoes. Oh my God, I'm trying to, it's the steam coming off that, huh? Oh, hot, mm. Mm. Oh damn, that's good chowder. Oh my God, I don't even need oyster crackers. That is fantastic. Would you look at the size of these lobsters? Holy crap! These are just fantastic. And there's like two of them. I didn't, th I didn't think I got two of them. I totally forgot about that. No wonder it was 83 bucks. <laughs> That's actually not a bad deal for the whole boat ride. Uh, you know, I mean, you just get all these clams. Look at all these freaking clams in here. This is just phenomenal. It's like, oh my God, I am going to be having a feast. So let's try one of these clams first. I mean, just the, like, look at that. It just looks, oh, so fresh, so fantastic. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. That doesn't even need anything. That is fantastic. Oh, I just watch that open up right there. Oh, so freaking meaty. Oh, this is probably some of the best, at least like just fresh grilled clams. I'm gonna, which one should I do? Butter or, I don't even know what this this is real quick. What is this? It tastes like water. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of, just a little butter on the clam, see how that goes. Mm. Oh yeah. The clams are fire. Time to get into that tail real quick. Oh, look at all that lobster meat. Juicy, juicy lobster meat. And we'll just dip that in that butter right there. Mm. Give me that try. Oh, come on. Come on, that's absolutely fantastic. Mm. That is some excellent, excellent lobster. Oh. You know, I got so excited about uh, just getting into the lobster, I forgot. You gotta put on your lobster bib when you're having lobster. So, all the greatest fashion of Maine right here with that lobster bib. Oh yeah. Now let's finish this off. Mm. Gotta get that juice. So let's see what a hard boiled egg tastes like being hard boiled. 
with lobster. Mm. It's a good hard boiled egg. It doesn't add anything. It does add though some kind of cool little grill marks to the egg. Excuse me, to the egg. But no, yeah, still tastes good though. It's a hard boiled egg. Yummy. All right, gonna try some of the sides here. We got, of course, you got this uh, delicious baked potato. It's so freaking soft inside. And just, I like to drizzle the lobster butter on top of it, just cause I like to be fat. But, oh my God. Oh, that's cooked amazingly. This is, that is one of the softest baked potatoes I have ever had. Cooked, absolutely fantastic. Nice steamed. It's, I guess technically it's steamed potatoes, not baked potatoes. But it's really good. Mmm. All right. And we gotta try the corn as well. I mean, it's this nice big old ear of corn coming right off, right off the steam, right off that wood fire. So yeah, let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. That is good corn. I'm never a big fan though of eating corn on the cob. It's fun, and you always get those kernels and get stuck to the teeth. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this, all of this is absolutely fan freaking tastic. One singular sensation, every little step she makes, da 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 da. One thrilling combination, every move that she makes. So I totally forgot that they do dessert here, and they do their own. It's not blueberry pie like a lot of made. This is blueberry cake with powdered sugar on top. This just looks so delightful. It's just, oh, nice and fluffy. Let me give this a try. Mm -hmm. Powdered sugar just sprayed everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. That is fantastic. It's so soft and moist inside. I didn't think it would be just because it actually looks quite crumbly, but the texture itself is very, very soft. And this is just, oh, powdered sugar and the blueberries inside. This just makes it, this is absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh my God. That was absolutely amazing. I think that's probably the best full lobster dinner I think I've ever had. I'm trying to think of if I've ever had one that, number one, that tasted that good, but number two, that was just that much fun. You know, it's just the whole experience. It's it right in front of me that's cooking. The steam was hitting me as I was trying to get video of it. And it's just the heat coming off it, being out here. I mean, just this in front of me is just absolutely amazing. I'm just sitting here, you know, after that blueberry cake and everything else and just sipping on the last of my beer, just, uh, my God. I, do, I can see why Mark Weens decided to come out here. If you guys have never seen him, when it comes to food and whatnot, around when it comes to specifically food with travel, you gotta check that man out. He's like the godfather. He is absolutely fantastic with what he does. Uh, I mean, I studied him, you know, just watching his videos when I first decided to want to start this channel. Uh, but boy, oh boy, Cabbage Island, lobster clam bake, amazing. All right, so we're about to head back to Booth Bay Harbor. But before we do that, I just wanna tell you real quick about the matron of this whole Cabbage Island experience. It used to belong to, I think they said the Levinson family, uh, but the Moore family bought this out back in the 80s. And it's just, it's really cool. The boat that I'm on, or the ship that I'm on right now, is called the Benny Alice. And that is after Benny Alice Moore. And that is their matron of the family. And she was, from what I saw and like read in the story and whatnot, she 
was an amazing woman. You know, she worked all her life um, down in Massachusetts. And then when her sons bought this place, uh, she came up and worked here for like some of like 30 years or something like that uh, before she ended up passing last year, sadly, at the age of 106 months. I mean, this woman was greeting people and, you know, selling things in the store and talking to people uh, when she was like 98, 99 in that like last year before the, I think the COVID year hit. And it, it's just an amazing story of an amazing woman. They have like pictures of her um, inside the ins part, inside part of the restaurant uh, of her and all these different people, friends, family, strangers. You know, her son Wayne was telling me about how she, she would, she would send Christmas cards to people that she met that came on the island, uh, you know, just for, you know, year after year uh, for a cabbage bake. And it's just absolutely fantastic. It's a great story. And it's kind of cool that the boat is named after her. So, but anyway, enjoy the ride back to Booth Bay Harbor and I'll see you there. pleasure and my god that family the Moore family what they do with that with that clam bake is just absolutely amazing amazing story amazing food beautiful island uh very walkable it's just at, it's it's nothing nothing i can say except absolutely fantastic <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed my trip out there definitely if you get the chance check out the video that mark weens did for it last year um i'll leave a link in the description um you know he's a he's a big in for, in, inspiration for me I, he, i've never met him but i love watching his videos and if you love food and travel that man is the godfather you gotta check him out if you don't already watch him most of you probably already do. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys on the next adventure. Make sure if you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell just to make sure that you are notified of any new videos. And guys, have a wonderful evening. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one.